We're kind of changing things as we get into the start of the work week. Actually, we're not changing them compared to today, but we are eventually going to on Tuesday and Wednesday as we get rain back in the forecast. But tomorrow morning starts a little bit cool, as I've been saying, 50s to 60s, and it will be a dry, warm afternoon, probably just a touch warmer than what we had today. And then the storms are back in the forecast. T Tuesday and Wednesday, mostly during the day, so not so much overnight like the couple of rounds we've had lately, but more daytime and not so much of a severe threat with these storms this week, but there will be some heavy rain, which added to what we've already got uh, in the past several days uh, may prompt perhaps a bit of isolated street flooding. But first, your wake up forecast for tomorrow. You can see we start off in the 50s to about 60 tomorrow at noon, close to 80 degrees and by 5 p.m. Your temperatures in the lower 80s. It should be beautiful. Current temperatures aren't uh, that warm in on our North Shore areas in the 50s to about 60 there and ranging a little bit farther south of the lake. You may have noticed the really nice dry air. The dew point temperatures have been mostly in the 50s today and that does correspond to nice uh, dry, very kind of crisp feeling sort of air. Our satellite and radar imagery shows where the storms are, that we got yesterday way removed off to the east and now we have a front well to our south and we have a big surface high pressure area pretty much right over us now as it continues to shift east and it already has done so over the past day or so toward us, it will eventually bring in more moisture to set us up for that rain on Tuesday and Wednesday and also we'll have a front which I'll show you in a second. Our river flooding forecasts are there for our North Shore rivers, but they're either falling right now or set to fall probably tomorrow for the Boca Chido and Tangipahoa uh, rivers. That one has moderate flooding along some parts of the river and the only other one with moderate flooding is the Pearl and that's mostly upriver at Bogo Lusa. So if you are around the Pearl, you may notice the river is high. It's really set to stay somewhat steady over the next maybe week or two. It might take a while for the Pearl to go down. And of course, when we get more rain this week, we'll have to watch what happens with those rivers because they may jump again briefly if we do get a pretty decent dose. And right now it looks like maybe one to three inches of rain on Tuesday and Wednesday tonight. And for your wake up forecast about lower 50s on the North Shore, 60 or so south of the lake and then our highs tomorrow will be in the 84 degree range. Today we were just barely at 79 to about 80 degrees for our highs and then our local expert forecast for those of you say in Ponchatoula looking good tomorrow with those lower 80s and nice sunny warm conditions in the afternoon. So tomorrow dry nice start to the week and then we'll gear up for rain Tuesday again not in the early morning kind of commute frame but probably mid morning afternoon we'll see the showers and storms spreading in probably subsiding for the evening and then we'll get another round Wednesday during the day and then after that the rain chances look a little slimmer and this may be why first of all we'll have the rain returning we'll have a front which is right now off to the northwest getting near us and look at this Tuesday setup 3 p.m. showers and a few storms in the area with that front just to our north it slowly sneaks into our area on Wednesday morning and you can see Wednesday we may have another round of showers and a few storms and then it may go just enough far, far south enough to leave us a little drier perhaps by Thursday and maybe even into Friday. But scattered daytime rain, I would be prepared for it both Tuesday and Wednesday. And again, the severe threat looks low. We're not really outlined for especially strong storms, although lightning and thunder certainly uh, going to accompany some of these storms. But what we may have to watch out for is some isolated street flooding. You can see our flood risk on Tuesday is marginal, so not everyone will see flooding rains. But if you do get a heavy downpour, uh, you may eventually encounter perhaps a bit of uh, brief street flooding here and there. How much rain are we looking at? Well, this is just updated and it's a little higher actually than even earlier this evening. The GFS has up to three to near four inches of rain. The European model has a little bit less, maybe one to two or so. So I've been saying just kind of gear up for maybe one to three plus inches Tuesday and Wednesday. And then by Thursday, we'll drop the rain chance a little bit to maybe 20%. Now the models are kind of differing for later in the week. One has rain around on Thursday and Friday. Uh, one keeps us drier. The European keeps us drier, but then the European model has rain surging back in on Saturday while the GFS has a drier by then, so we'll need to just watch the situation as we get toward the end of the week, but you can see that it won't be as warm as that front slides in. It's not a really significant cool down, but certainly something as we'll be starting off maybe the latter portion of the week in the 50s to 60s north and south for the mornings, and you can see those temperatures only in the 70s for the afternoons. A stacked master.